Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this tutorial, I will talk about metastasis in detail. Okay, start with introduction. Basically, metastasis refers to the spreading of cancer from a primary site to distant organs. So, in metastasis which involve different steps. So, what are the uh, different uh, sequential steps of metastasis? Uh, the first one is the primary tumor growth. Next is neoangiogenesis, epithelial to mesenchymal transition, inversion, intravasation, survival in the circulation, extravasation, dormancy, and secondary tumor growth. Okay, so these are the different steps which involve in the metastasis. So let's uh, look at each of the steps in more detail. The first one is primary tumor growth. In primary tumor growth, cancer start to grow at one side. So this is termed as the primary tumor or the primary cancer of that organ. For example, breast cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancers. So even after the cancer spread to other organs, it is still referred to as cancer of that primary organ. That is, for example, prostate cancer that is found metastatized to the bone is still refers to as prostate cancer, not as bone cancer. Similarly, if the cancer started in the breast and is found metastatized to the bone, it is still referred to as the breast cancer, not as bone cancer. So this is all about the primary tumor growth. And the next step is um, angiogenesis. Okay, so in angiogenesis, uh, a tumor cannot grow to more than a millimeter in size unless it attracts new blood vessels. So the new blood vessels provide the growing cancer with nutrients and oxygen and provide the cancer cells with a pathway to other site in the body. So this is all about the angiogenesis or neoangiogenesis. After the uh, angiogenesis, the next step is what called mesenchymal transition or the epithelial to mesenchymal transition. So this is the Acquisition of a motile phenotype or simply meaning a cell that can walk around and move versus one that cannot. So it, it is taught, thought that cancer cells undergo a changes in phenotype to make them more mesenchymal or fibroblastic. Cell that lack polarity and can move more. So this allows them to more inversive and work out the primary tumor. So this is a very important step. If a cancer cell does not acquire this motile phenotype, it would have the literally fall into the circulation or fall into the blood vessel because it couldn't actively more move there. Okay. So this is all about the mesenchymal transition or the epithelial to mesenchymal transition. And the next steps in metastasis are inversion and the intravasation. So, uh, cancer cells invade the tissues surrounding the cancer and then they break through the blood vessel wall and move into the circulation. So, this breaking through the blood vessel wall is referred to as intravasation. Okay. The next step is the survival in the circulation so cancer cell in the circulation must survive turbulent blood flow and escape detection by the cells of the immune system otherwise this immune system recognize them as a abnormal and abnormal uh, bodies or foreign bodies and try to kill them Okay, so many cancer cells killed in the circulation as they try to survive the turbulence. 
so after uh, this uh, cancer cell escape from the turbulence uh, blood flow the next step is extravasation remember that moving into the circulation was intravasation when cancer cell reach to the target organ like prostate or breast cancer to bond they attach it to the blood vessel wall and then invade into the tissue so this this is termed as extravasation okay and the last step that is dormancy and subsequent secondary tumor growth that is cancer cell in new tissue most likely to survive in a dormant site for a period of time before they start to proliferate and form a detectable clinical metastasis so this is all about the metastasis process